Band Assisted Ankle Dorsiflexion. For this movement, we're using a band here to assist everything moving through the ankle joint nice and smooth. The placement of the band in this case is very important. So what we want to do is have it wrapped around at the ankle, and I'm actually going to have it below the shin bone here. So in this case, if I had my foot here, it's going to be below this guy right here, so it's right underneath the tibia. And what's going to happen there is we're pushing, we're holding this guy down right here and we're pushing it back as we let that tibia glide over. That's what we're trying to get is more range through this ankle joint right here. We want to make sure it's not on the tibia, pushing the tibia back because this should be gliding anteriorly right through here. So that's why it's important to have that band in that position where we're right here, holding that heel down and that's assisting this range of motion so we can get that much needed ankle range for our squats and our lunging patterns. The other way to do this is we can have the band pull the tibia anteriorly. So if I have it at the back of the leg here, where it's high enough, essentially it's up here, that's going to help promote pushing that tibia anteriorly, helping that glide as we come through. So in this position here, I'm letting it pull me forward and I might need a thicker band here to help draw that forward. I can hold my heel down here and I can also have a weight or kettlebell pushing down to get that extra range through that ankle. You can use a wall, you saw the bench there. That bench was about four or five inches away. We want to hit the bench or a wall when it's four or five inches away from our toe so we're getting that full range of motion. For less than that, that's definitely something we want to start to work on so it doesn't limit our global functional movement patterns.